In the previous part, we saw the changes till telophase 1. Now, the cell undergoes cytokinesis 1. That means now the cytoplasmic content is going to divide. So the cell which we made in telophase was showing two nuclei. The centrioles were at, at two poles and there were two nuclei which were formed. Each nucleus was having two fibers, two chromatids. And cytokinesis had begun by the end of anaphase or beginning of telophase. Now when we say cytokinesis and as we are talking of an animal cell, these constrictions in the plasma membrane which have appeared, they are going to get deeper and deeper. So if this constriction gets deeper, here also it gets deeper and finally the cytoplasmic content also divides. So what we get here are two daughter cells. So these two cells which are formed here are daughter cells and these daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as compared to the parent cell. We started with the parent cell having 2n is equal to 4. That means here each daughter cell is having half the number of chromosomes. So the daughter cell is haploid and that is why we call meiosis 1 as reductional division. Both these cells now have to enter meiosis 2. And as we said, be between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, there is no interface. There is a short phase which is called interkinesis. During this time, the cell is going to prepare itself for the division. And as there is no S phase, there is no DNA replication which is going to take place. And that is why we are drawing these chromosomes with these two arms of chromatids which indicates that each chromosome is going to bring double DNA. So these are two chromosomes, each chromosome with double DNA. So here now there is interkinesis and it is not interface. It is a very short period of time where the cells are going to prepare themselves and now these cells both these cells enter meiosis 2 so now what is going to happen will be the part of meiosis 2 this is the interkinesis that is a short preparatory phase whatever change takes place in one cell the same is going to happen in the other cell so we might draw the changes in one, but we have to keep in mind that the same things are happening in both the cells. So now we are talking of prophase 2. We have entered, the cells have entered into meiosis 2. So now the stages are same. Karyokinesis has begun. That is nucleus is going to divide. And prophase is the first phase, but it is a part of meiosis 2 that is why we have written it as prophase 2. So now let us draw these two daughter cells which will undergo the changes during meiosis 2. First part, prophase. What all things happened in prophase of mitosis or meiosis last stage? The centrioles which undergo splitting, they, are, they move towards the opposite pole. And that is why we have the cell in front of us because these were the areas where the centrioles were. So these, this was the pole. So upper and lower. So we call this the poles. In this case, the poles are going to be at right angle to the first axis. Now why is this like that? We have to remember that suppose this is one cell. And if it has undergone cytokinesis in this plane. That means probably these were the poles and this is how the cytokinesis must have taken place. Now, what was the plane of cytokinesis? Horizontal in this case. If 
the cytokinesis plane remains the same, then what is the change which we will be observing? These two cells are going to grow to their normal size. These two. And again, if they divide in the same manner, again these two cells will be formed like this. That means we are going to get a vertical column-like structure. If you remember, the suspensor which is formed in dicot embryos, it is formed in this kind of division. Such kind of a division, when the plane of cytokinesis or plane of spindle fiber is same, such division is known as periclinal division. This is one. Second example, suppose this is a cell and it has undergone, this was horizontal plane, so this has undergone vertical division of cytokinesis. Both these cells are going to become normal in size, they would grow and again the plane of division is vertical. So what are we getting? We are getting a layer of the cell. So in both the cases, all the planes of cytokinesis are same. In this case, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. So this would result in formation of a long strand of cells. If the plane is vertical, vertical and vertical, then we would get a membrane-like structure or an epidermis-like structure. So if the plane remains same in all divisions, then either we get a vertical chain of cells or a horizontal chain of cells. Such type of divisions are known as periclinal division. But if we want a mass of cell to be formed, then in that case, say this is the cell, the first division is say cytokinesis is horizontal, sorry, vertical. What will happen? These two cells, they're going to grow to their normal size and next division is horizontal. So we get a mass of cells. So in case of only one plane all the time, be it horizontal or be it vertical, it would give us either a long strand of cells or a horizontal strip of cells. But if the planes, they keep changing every time. So once it is vertical, then it becomes horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal. In that case, we would get a mass of cells. So the plane may remain same or may change. It totally depends on what exactly we need from these cells. So we will take the common one that is the first division was horizontal. Now the next division is going to be vertical. So in this case, the centrioles, they are going to move to these poles. The axis has changed. First time the axis was vertical. Now this time it is horizontal. Aster rays are going to appear. And here we are not drawing early and late prophases. We know what all changes take place. Spindle fibers are formed and chromo, chromas, uh, sorry, chromatin fibers, they have started to condense. So we would start seeing chromosomes. How are these chromosomes? And the chromosomes have these two arms and each cell is having two chromosomes. Each daughter cell we are talking of. So, these chromosomes, they get attached to these spindle fibers and these spindle fibers are going to pull them so that they come on the equatorial plane in the next stage. So, what are the changes which we have seen? The plane of spindle fiber axis is at right angles to the first one. If first was vertical, the second is going to be horizontal. If first was horizontal, the second one is going to be vertical so that this type of division takes place. So same thing is going to happen in the other cell. Let us draw this in this case. And from next stage onwards, we can just show the changes in one cell. So aster rays here also, the spindle fibers. And same, the chromosomes two here also. Each chromosome is having double DNA and that's why we are showing these arms and the chromosomes are coming after exchanged genetic material. So this one has the exchanged genetic material. It has taken place during prophase 1. 
Here also, this chromosome is showing the exchange genetic material and this one also. The chromosomes are attached to the spindle fibers. The spindle fibers are going to pull them so that all of them come on the equatorial plane. Now, this time, the equatorial plane is also different. In earlier case, the poles were vertical and the equatorial plane was horizontal. Here, this is, these are the poles. So equatorial plane is going to be vertical in this case. So, this is what happens in prophase 2. What all changes have taken place in prophase 2? Nuclear membrane disappeared. And again, we are not talking about all the membranes. Nuclear membrane has gone, ER, Golgi, all those membranes have also disappeared. Spindle fibers, aster rays, they have appeared. Chromatin fibers, they have started to condense. So chromatin fibers start to start to condense. That means the changes are same as what happened in prophase of mitosis and in prophase 1 during the last stage. Same nuclear membrane gone, spindle fibers, asterase formation, everything same. But in case of prophase 2, what we have to remember is the axis of spindle apparatus or the poles is at right angles to the first division. Whatever was in the first, it is going to be at right angles to the neck, uh, to the first one. So in this, in this case, we made vertical poles and horizontal was our equatorial plane. Here we are making horizontal poles and uh, vertical is going to be our equatorial plane. So that the cell division is going to result into a mass formation instead of this. This division is periclinal and this kind of division would take place only if we want vertical cells like suspensor or horizontal strip of cells which would make the epidermis or epithelium. These two cells will now enter metaphase 2. So in the next segment we will talk about the changes after this.